Hello friends, this video on air and water pollution part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at acid rain now because we have been talking about acid rain in the last slide. So what did we see about acid? We all know what is rain. Rain is what? So the clouds precipitate and they fall in the form of rain. So the water droplets which fall out of the clouds, they are nothing but rain. That is what we call as rain. Now when this rain is acidic in nature, and why it is acidic in nature? Due to the presence of several acids like sulfuric acid, nitric acid, sulfurous acid. So due to the presence of these acids, the rain becomes acidic in nature and that is when we call it acid rain. Now normal rainfall is not harmful. Rain is not harmful. But if the rain contains so many poisonous acids, then obviously it becomes harmful. Now how these acids are formed? As I mentioned in the previous slides that the sulfur and nitrogen oxides, they react with tiny water droplets which might be present in the atmosphere to form sulfuric and nitric acids. So basically what happens is the sulfur dioxides gets converted to sulfuric acid or sulfurous acid. How? By mixing with the tiny water droplets which is present in the atmosphere. Similarly, the nitrogen oxides, they also react with the tiny water droplets to form nitric acids. And rain from these clouds contain these acids. So these acids are pre remain present in the clouds. So when rain comes from these clouds, what happens? They fall as very weak acid called acid rain. So that's how the rain becomes acidic in nature due to the presence of these acids. So now when we talk about acidic nature, how do we do? How do we know that the rain is acidic in nature? Now forget about the rain. How do we know that an aqueous solution, any solution is acidic in nature or basic in nature? So basic is just opposite of acidic. So when we say a solution is acidic, when it has acidic nature in it, so when it has acids present in it. The, just the opposite when there are no acids at all, instead it has basic nature, so then that is basic. So these are the two terms, acidic and basic. Now in order to measure or in order to specify the acidity of a solution, there is a numeric scale which is used in chemistry and that scale is called pH. So pH denotes whether a solution is acidic or basic in nature. So the scale of pH is from 0 to 14. So that is the scale of pH. So anything which is towards 0 that is acidic. So that solution is acidic if its pH value is towards 0. And if its pH value is towards 14 then that solution is basic or alkaline. So alkaline and basic would mean the same. So that doesn't mean that only solution with pH 0 will be acidic. So any solution which is near to 0. So what is the midway between 0 and 14? That is going to be 7. So if there is a solution which has pH 7, that would mean that the solution is neutral. That is, it is neither acidic nor basic. So now you can say that any solution with pH less than 7 is going to be acidic and any solution with pH greater than 7 is going to be basic, right? So that, that's the basic meaning of acidic and basic because now I am using the term acidic quite often. Now what happens is these acids can burn our skin if it is brought in contact. Now normally this rain normally the rain water which is not polluted with acids so the normal rain if you look at the ph value of normal rain so the ph will be around 5 to 6 so that will be the value of normal rain so that is also slightly acidic but it is quite near to neutral so the value lies somewhere here for normal rain but when you try to find out the ph for acid rain so the ph is around 4 so the pH is decreasing. That means it is becoming, it is going more towards acidity. Now you might say that the difference is not much. Here it is 4 and here it is 5 or 6. Now it is not that the rainwater turns completely acidic. It becomes slightly acidic due to the presence of sulfuric acid and nitric acid. But even this slightly acidic rain can become harmful to us in a number of ways. So let us try to see what are the harmful effects of acid rain. It can be a threat to aquatic life. How? Because when rain falls, 
it directly falls on the water bodies like ponds or lakes or rivers and in each of these water bodies a large number of organisms live starting from fishes small animals aquatic plants so what happens is when the rainwater contains such harmful acids so these acids will pollute the water as well now when toxic substances are released into the water the water also turns acidic and the aquatic organisms solely depend on water so if the water itself is poisonous so obviously the aquatic life might even die so it is a danger to the aquatic life so that is one disadvantage it can adversely affect the plants how that's because for plant productivity or for crop productivity we all know how much important is water so irrigation that is why we have irrigation so that even if we do not get rainfall so we will artificially water the field so when it rains and if the rainfall is containing poisonous substances so what is going to happen it might kill all the crops on the field so that means it can adversely affect the growth of plants also due to the presence of harmful chemicals when this rain water reaches the soil it might affect the nutrients which are present in the soil because such harmful chemicals will mix will chemically react with the nutrients and the soil will lose the nutrients so the plants will not get the required nutrients it can also wash away the protective covering present on the leaves of plant like right? because each and every part of the plant gets exposed to rainfall so if the rain itself is containing poison so these poison substances can affect the leaves and therefore can affect photosynthesis because photosynthesis takes place in leaves wash away nutrients from the soil as i was telling that since they i mean when rain falls it goes into the soil it contains harmful substances so the nutrients might get depleted from the soil pollute the soil so in that sense it can pollute the soil and it can also harm the tiny organisms living inside the soil there are so many organisms like earthworms the decomposers so they it can harm them as well damage statues and buildings this is another important harmful effect of acid rain so one best example is the taj mahal of agra which is one of the seven wonders of the world so what does the acid rain do as i said these acids they can even cause erosion they can corrode some of the stones especially limestone or sandstone like this taj mahal is made up of what it is made up of marble so marble is nothing but calcium carbonate which is nothing but limestone so this calcium carbonate gets easily impacted by acid rain so these acids will cause faster erosion of such rocks and these kind of rocks are more susceptible to acid rains so these corrodes the marbles of the monument and as a result if you look at the glow of the taj it has deteriorated a lot it you can see a blackish appearance on the marble and that is because of so acid rain is one of the important reason behind this now in so taj mahal is located in agra and in agra you have a lot of industries and factories oil refineries etc so from the industrial emission a lot of sulfur dioxide and nitric oxide are being released into the atmosphere so in that surrounding atmosphere a lot of sulfuric acid and nitric acid gets formed in the clouds and that is why acid rain is the result and acid rain damages the taj and these days a lot of preventive measures are being taken so that uh, it can be protected from any further damage and also if we can do something some if we can take some corrective measures to bring back the glory and beauty of the taj so this these are some of the very harmful effects of acid rain so now we understand how harmful are industrial emissions because they cause air pollution they pollute the air and that is one way by which they cause harm to living organisms they also cause acid rain thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.